What's up fish friends? In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you a step-by-step -step rundown on how to use the API Freshwater Master Test Kit, as well as the GH and KH Test Kit. The easiest way to measure out a five milliliter mark, which is what all the tests require, is you take some sort of syringe or pipette and you fill it up. It's very difficult to just dip it in your tank and magically end up with five milliliters. I find this is the easiest way. It takes a lot less time and it's less frustrating. And if you overshoot, then you can pull a little bit out quite easily. Another thing to note is that when you fill up a test tube with water, you'll see that little divot in there and that's called a meniscus. You want the bottom of that meniscus to be on the five milliliter mark. And then you'll notice that on the side, uh, it's slightly higher. So the high range pH is pretty easy. All you do is add five drops in here. And when you add it in, you need to make sure that whatever dropper you're using is completely vertical. One, two, three, four, five. Inverted a few times. Let's see, that's a 7.4 or 7.8, pretty much what I'd expect. Next we have ammonia. Ammonia is important to test for if you have a new tank. I pulled this from one of my client's tanks that's currently cycling since I don't have any ammonia in my home tanks. Completely vertical, eight drops of the first solution. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're gonna add eight drops of the second solution. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're gonna invert it a few times. and wait five minutes. While we're waiting five minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and test the nitrites. For the nitrites, all you're gonna do is add five drops of this. One, two, three, four, five. Give it the good old inversion. And then we're gonna let that sit for five minutes as well. Now for the nitrate test kit. This one's a little more complicated than the others, but it's still pretty simple. We're gonna start off by adding 10 drops of solution number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna cap it, give it a little inversion there, pop her open, and then we're going to vigorously shake bottle two for 30 seconds. Now the vigorous component is very important. If you just casually shake it, it will not give you the same result as vigorously shaking. All right, after shaking that for 30 seconds, go ahead and add 10 drops to the test tube. Cap it, and this needs to be vigorously shaken for one minute. All right, now that that's nice and shaken up, we're gonna let that sit for five minutes, just like all the other ones. All right, so it's been five minutes and the ammonia is done. All you gotta do is hold it next to the chart and compare the colors. If it's not that exact color, then look in between. I'd say this one is in between one and two parts per million. And then on to nitrites. There's absolutely no nitrites in there. We're looking at it. it should have a little bit of purple, but it's completely blue, so that's a good sign. And then for the nitrates, it's not completely yellow, but it's also not really orange either. I'd say somewhere in between zero and five part per million, maybe two. All right, let's take a look at the GH and KH test kits now. So starting with the KH, what we want to do is add a drop of this at a time. And we're going to stop when it turns completely yellow. So. The first drop we put in there, we're gonna flip it over a few times and we notice that it's blue. So we're gonna keep going, one drop, flippy flip. Wait, is it blue? Okay, add another drop. 
and you count how many drops. Getting close, that's drop number six. All right, seven, so seven drops. We have a KH of seven. Now to do the GH, it's the same exact process except instead of turning yellow, we want this uh, liquid to turn green. All right, so I've just gotten to 20 drops and I know my tank is not that hard. Turns out this test kit expired last year. And so um, I actually did another video on this and test kits do expire, so um, I'm gonna go grab another one that I have laying around. Be right back. So this is actually a test kit by Fritz, but it works in the same exact way. I'll just give you a quick rundown so you can see the process. Uh, again, we're just gonna be adding one drop at a time, inverting and waiting for it to turn green. All right, just turned green. That means that I have seven degrees of general hardness. All right, now that I've showed you how to use it, uh, let's go over a couple of faux pas, things that you do not want to do when you're testing. Um, really, that boils down to a couple different things. The first one is you want to make sure that you're not using your thumb to cap the test tube. Basically, you know, if you're eating something like Cheetos, you could change the water orange, or if you had greasy fingers, then that could also alter the water parameters, especially with regards to like ammonia or nitrates. And then the other big thing that I'm cautious of is testing water that's been sitting around for a while, especially stuff that's been heated up in a car. Um, pH in particular can really change when you do that. So best to pull the water right out of the tank and get it tested. All right, that's all we got for today's video. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you got questions. Drop a comment if you enjoyed today's video or if you learned anything. Till next time, see ya!